Okay, now it's time for fishing a really big bait. We're gonna fish with skipjack. This is a perfect time. I got my Super Seeker 3x5 here. This here is a very stiff rod, but I'm using big line, big reel, very big hook. I've jumped up to a Mustad 7691 13-0 hook. If you can find them, a 14-0 works good too. But they're really hard to find. I like a big giant hook. We're going to be fishing with big bait, anywhere from a three pound skipjack. And if you pin on a 10 pound skipjack, you're not, you're not too big. You're not out of the game. Go over to the bait tank. I got my skipjack here. A little worse for wear and tear here. This is take two. I'm going to basically do the same thing that I did with the salami mackerel. Same exact placement, the breast hook, as uh, Frank Lepresti calls it. This here, the bait tends to go down. I'm going to walk over to the rail. I'm going to drop it in the water, and I'm going to let it swim down. Now, when you're fishing these things, most of the time in the dark. Once in a while, the tuna will bite them in daylight, and I never turn down an opportunity to fish a big giant bait because you get to use the big gear. And you have a much better chance of landing your fish. My son Matthew, I took him on a trip down to Clipperton when he was 18 years old and I was standing right beside him and he short pumped this thing back in. It was coming up upside down like that, just about three or four feet below the surface of the water. A big old cow comes up and engulfs it. Matt did a fabulous job on that. He got a 244 pounder on his first big fish trip. So uh, he listened to his dad, he had a good teacher. Again, with the skipjack mackerel, Skipjack tuna, excuse me. Same hook placement. Now I'm gonna go for the anal fin. This works pretty good. Same placement here. And back towards the back. Those four places there. I rarely nose hook them. I, I, don't, I don't see any point. The nose is really hard. Now the reason that I like to use big gear and a really stiff rod. This here, you're gonna have to set the hook with these things. The, that hook is, a lot of times, is not gonna rip out and what ends up happening is you end up bringing this bait that's been mauled by a tuna and you miss the strike. So what you wanna do is let that fish eat it for just a few seconds, put the reel in gear, Load the rod up, load it up good, turn the handle till you can't turn the handle anymore and swing like you're swinging for a home run. Swing like nobody's business. You might even have to swing more than once. Now this means that you're probably not going to get them in the corner of the mouth like we like with a circle hook, but that doesn't matter. I've got my fluorocarbon leader, I'm probably not going to get chewed off. So this concludes our skipjack.